Welcome to the final video in the Google Ads tutorial series. In this lesson, we're going to cover Performance Max campaigns. This type of campaign is designed to automatically place ads and drive conversions based on your advertising objective. If you've missed any of the other videos in this tutorial series, I've included links for you in the description below this video. Okay, let's walk through the steps to set up a Performance Max campaign. Let's head to Google Ads. We start by creating a new campaign. And we're going to select the option to create a campaign without guidance. Let's choose Performance Max as the campaign type. Next, we need to choose the goal for our campaign. The goal you choose will be used to optimize your Performance Max campaign. For your campaign, you should choose a goal that aligns with your objective. And if you don't have a goal configured for your objective yet, then I recommend setting up an appropriate conversion before creating your Performance Max campaign. I'm going to be advertising my Google Analytics course with this campaign. So I'm going to enter the URL for my course. Next, we need to name the campaign. I'm going to name my campaign Course Performance Max. When you're happy, click Continue. Now you can choose a focus for the way Google Ads will manage bids for the Performance Max campaign. This is different from standard campaigns since Performance Max campaigns are automated. This means we can choose from conversions or conversion value. We can't manually manage bids. For this campaign, I'm going to leave conversions selected and I'm going to enable the option to set a target cost per action. And I'm going to enter $15 as the target. This means that Google Ads will try and achieve as many conversions as possible at or below this CPA. You can also enable the option to optimize the campaign for acquiring new customers. This means that your bids will be increased for people who are not identified as being an existing customer. For my campaign, I'm going to leave this option disabled. Now let's click Next. The next step is to choose our location and language targeting for the campaign. We've already covered this in a previous video, so if you missed it, then I recommend watching the second tutorial in this series. I've included a link for you in the description below this video. For this campaign, I'm going to select Sydney for my location targeting, but take time to choose a location that works for your campaign and objectives. Let's leave the other defaults and click Next. Google AI is going to help us create the different elements for our ads. I suggest reviewing the suggestions and making any necessary adjustments to reflect the objective for your campaign. When you're happy, click the button at the bottom to continue to the next step. We now need to create an asset group. An asset group can include images, videos, headlines, descriptions, and more. You should use an asset group for a specific offer. This might be a specific product or service you want to advertise. For my campaign, I'm going to create an asset group for my Google Analytics course. So the offer is to get people to join the course. All of the assets I add to this group, so all of the images, headlines, and so on, should relate to this offer and encourage people to engage with your ad. I'm going to name my asset group GA Course. Now we enter our business name and choose our company logos. Scrolling down, we can check the URL of our landing page. This is the final URL. We can then enter up to 15 headlines. We can enter up to five long headlines. Enter up to five descriptions, including a short description.
Google Ads will automatically scan your landing page for images you can use. You can select any images that it finds to use with your asset group. And you can also upload images. And select from any images you've recently used in Google Ads. You can select up to 20 images to use in your asset group. We can select up to five videos. Google Ads will automatically combine the assets you've entered to create the final ads people see. And since Performance Max campaigns can show across a range of different placements, you can preview some of the combinations people might see on the right. And we can also see options to add additional assets, including site links and more to our asset group. I'm going to leave this and scroll down. You will be able to edit and adjust your assets after you've launched your campaign. But take a moment to check over them, and then when you're happy, it's time to head to the next option. Below the asset group, we can see there is an option to define signals. Google Ads will use the signals you select to help understand the ideal audience for your campaign. So adding audience lists, interests, demographics, and other signals will be used to optimize bids and placements. You can enter up to 25 keywords to help target your ads. You can then select audiences to help target and optimize your ads. We're going to keep things simple in this tutorial, but if you'd like to learn more about audiences, then please take a moment to check out the links in the description below this video. Now let's click Next. We need to select our daily budget. This is the average amount you want to spend each day. Google can spend more or less than the amount you enter, but if you keep the budget the same, then over the course of a month, you won't be charged more than 30.4 times the amount you enter here. So if you enter $10 as your daily budget, then you won't be charged more than $304 for a month. I recommend you assign a budget that you're happy to spend regardless of the results. Whenever you launch a new campaign, you're experimenting. Things might work or they might not. So please consider this as you assign your daily budget. When you're happy, click Next. We're now given a summary for the campaign. And when you're ready, click the button to publish the campaign. We can now see our new Performance Max campaign has been created. In the secondary menu, you can select the options to make adjustments to the campaign. Now that we've launched our Performance Max campaign, Google recommends that we run the campaign for at least six weeks so that Google Ads has enough time to begin optimizing the results. This also means it's important that you're happy with the daily budget you define when you set up the campaign. Remember, you should be comfortable spending the amount regardless of the outcomes. You're experimenting. Now that you've created your Performance Max campaign, I recommend taking the time to set up appropriate assets if you haven't already. These will make your ads more relevant and engaging. You can then monitor the performance of your campaign in your account. To learn even more about Google Ads, please take a moment to check out my course. I've included links in the description below this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.